Hello and welcome to Apex Solution. This is our first of many videos in our Red Mine series. Today we're going to be giving you a guide on how to install Red Mine on Ubuntu 20.04. Real quick background of Red Mine it's an open source project management and issue tracking tool designed for big or small companies. And since it's free, it's it's the best way to go if you're looking to save some money on project management tracking tools. So let's um, go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get this installation started. What I usually like to do before I start any kind of installation, I used to like to check what version I'm running on. Best way to do that is with this command here. And as you can see, version 20. Dot zero four. All right, let's go ahead and start. I've written the command ahead of time, so I'll reference back to, to these commands as I'm going through them. I'll also be putting that up on the notes, so you guys could just copy and paste. What usually I like to do is update everything. Let's go do sudo app update. Put in your root password. Depending on how bigger, how many packages you need to update, uh, might be different in the time it takes for this to be finished for everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward this a bit on my end. All right, welcome back. That took uh, about two minutes, and once that is done, we are gonna do sudo. Go ahead, let's clear the screen real quick sudo apt upgrade Go ahead, put yes this part takes a bit too go ahead and pause it and be back with you shortly all right welcome back that w that took a pretty long time at least a good five minutes for me so uh, not sure how long it'll take everybody else, but let's go ahead and do the next part. Next, we'll be installing MariaDB. We're going to be using MariaDB as our database for Redmine. All right, once that's done, let's go ahead clear this up we want to test the database make sure it's working so let's do let's try to log into it sudo my sql u root that looks good let's go get out of there next step we're going to set up the uh, redmine user on the database so let's log in through there sudo my sql Dash p this is our root password root admin all right we could use this command right here to create our database once we're in this will create our red mind database and we want to make sure it says okay on the Query OK, one row affected. That's a good sign when we see that. Next, we are going to create our user with the database and give them the correct privileges. And we want to update this as a password. Uh, I'm going to use admin123. Right, we're good. Let's go ahead and flush. Flush. Did I say it right? Flush. And we are going to quit. Let's go and get out of there. All right. So let's go ahead and confirm that everything's working for the Redmine database. You read mine. Oh, sorry. 
forgot to do sudo. That's right. We, we need to use the password that we created. I was using our root password. So let's do that again one more time. That's the admin123. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's go do show databases. And right there shows our database information our redmine databases so we're good there next up is we're going to install the apache server and best one to do that is with this here I'm go ahead and just copy and paste instead of typing it in might be easier All right, so Apache, the Apache server is installed. So let's go ahead and test, make sure the Apache server is running. We could to test with uh, two different ways. Let's double check our, oops, let me clear this. I have config, I'm not sure of my IP, dot 91. All right. All right, let's test our, dot 91 and 2 192.168.91 there we go our apache server is running and another way we could test is type in sudo ztl status apache apache to services and it's green show active so it is good <clears throat> next we want to install the redmine sql all right here we go So once you install, during the install, they will be asked, you'll be asked to configure the database a bit. Here's one of the prompts, you just have to push OK and put yes. And the password, that is a password you, we created earlier. Mine was admin, capital A, one, two, three. That asks you to confirm. And it will continue its installation. All right, looks like that's done. All right, the next thing we'll have to do is update the gem builder. Oh, they call it the gem bundler. So let's go sudo gem update. This part will take a bit. So I'll fast forward it. All right, welcome back. That took a while, it took about five, five minutes for me. So once the gem bundler has been updated, I guess the gem, now we're gonna install the bundler. This should be a little bit faster. So next step, now we're gonna go ahead and configure the Apache passenger module. I use VI, I'm not sure what everybody else uses, but I'm more comfortable with VI. Some people use Nano. So go ahead, let's get there. Apache 2. All right. And the only thing we have to do, I push with VI, I push I to do an insert. And I have put that information right here. <clears throat> All 
I like to line things up. All right, push escape, colon WQ to save it. All right. All right, once that's done, the next step is we are going to create a symbolic link connection to Redmine to the web document space. So the command to that is right here. All right, the next step we are going to be doing is that we're going to create a virtual host file for Redmine and configure it to our domain and our domain server of Redmine. So we have to go using VI again, or you guys use, anybody could use Nano or VI. I use VI. And this is the step for it. Apache. Redmine conf. Let me spell that correctly. And insert. We're gonna be inserting this passage here. I'll have those I have this passage in the notes, so you can copy and paste. And the Redmine password. That's what we can be updating which is the admin123 we created earlier and the IP address of the Redmine server which is the current server you are installing it on which is this one's mine and leave everything else default and that's it and then go ahead and push escape colon WQ as I'm using VI Next step, we're going to be creating a ownership of the glock file using this command. And again, I'll have this up for you guys. All right, the next step is to also use this command here. All right, we're almost there. We're almost done. All right, next thing we'll be doing is enabling the Redmine configuration website with this command here. Now we have to restart the Apache services. Again, all these commands will be given to you guys. So everybody could copy and paste it. And that's it. Let's go ahead and see if we could log into Redmine now. So what we do is put in our server URL or actually IP slash Redmine. I meant to use, use the other slash. So right here, our Redmine server is up. Let's go ahead and log in real quick. The default login is admin, password admin. All right, it's going to ask you to change it. Let me go ahead and change it up. And again, make sure it's admin, admin. Don't, uh, it's not using the same password that we created in the config files but this is it this is redmine with our projects the admin area hopefully uh, this was helpful uh, give us a follow we're gonna be going through redmine and the different projects and plugins so this is one of the first series of our redmine uh, installation and series of training Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe. Thanks.